My name is Rihanna Ferreira, and today my speech is going to be about the fire tetrahedron, which is also known as the fire triangle. Um, I believe this information is important due to how you can eliminate one of these conditions for a fire. It'll eliminate some of your loss or even terminate the fire completely. Um, according to uh, the National Fire Protection Agency, um, in 2016, there were over 1,342,000 fires in the United States only. Um, and this accumulated to about $3 billion worth of damage. Um, so I have researched this subject quite extensively. Um, my husband assisted because he is a firefighter. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The so I'm going to go ahead and discuss point A, um, which is basically starting from the bottom. So the first step we're going to take is going to be what is a tetrahedron. A tetrahedron, according to the Webster Dictionary, it has four sides. It is triangular and is shaped like a pyramid. So with that, with that knowledge, um, there is going to be three sides to this triangle. And the fourth side, which is the chemical process that is needed for all of these, when all of these combine, it basically results in a fire. And so the fire itself, now I will move on to um, my main point, my second main point, which is um, what is a fire? Um, according to the Fundamentals of Firefighting Skills in the second edition book, the fire itself is a chemical process. Um, what a chemical process is, is basically when you see um, metal rusting. It's a form of oxida oxidation. This is what happens when you combine oxygen with another substance. So that leads me on to my fourth, I'm sorry, my third point, um, So because this will all tie in together. For a fire tetrahedron, there are three conditions for a fire to be um, to be made basically. One of them is the heat, the second one is the fuel, also known as its food, um, the, sec the third one is the oxygen, and like I said before, the action, in which is the chemical reaction, is the fourth side of the tri I'm sorry, fourth side of the pyramid. Um, so this is basically what a fire tetrahedron is. Um, it has three sides to it, and the fourth side is basically the bottom which holds it together. So we have their fuel, which is like wood or paper or in the form of a house. Um, then your second one, which is oxygen, um, which is basically everywhere. The third one is your heat. So when all three of these combine, it basically results in a fire. So with all of those combined, um, we will go over the four stages of a fire. Um, one of them is when it starts. That's when all of these four elements come together. I'm sorry, three elements come together to create the fourth element, which is the fire. Um, the second stage is, ex is the expansion of the fire. This is basically when the fire has um, consumed the fuel and it grows in size. The peak of the fire is when the fire has reached every surface of fuel. So, and it also means that the temperature is at its peak and the oxygen is being consumed very rapidly. The fourth is on um, the burnout. This is when the fire is eliminated and when all oxygen or fuel or heat has been exhausted. So in 2000, sorry, um, so in the process, the firefighters, with these, these strategies the firefighter use um, to eliminate condition and also extinguishes the fire is number one is they either draw a fire line. So what they do is they are eliminating the fuel. They're taking the, their shovels or whatever they have to eliminate and drawing a fire line. It's hardly seeable in this but um, he's basically moving the, 
the wood away from the fire, as you can see. This is a prescribed burn, which means that it was given, it was given the okay by the fire department to do a burn, um, to eliminate debris on the side of the road. Um, the second one that they, um, we always see on television in the form of a wildfire is they use um, water to eliminate the heat. So when they're eliminating the heat, when you see a fire in your structure or in the structure, you see the firefighter going around the fire with water. That is basically taking away the heat and taking away its fuel. So to one of the other ways that to eliminate fire is to take away its oxygen. Um, so one way to show that would be to take a candle and put it underneath a glass. So when you do that, depending on the size of your glass, determines how much oxygen is in there. So when all the oxygen is eliminated, then your candle will go out. As you can see from the picture here, the glasses are bigger in size. So the first one already went out, the second one is a little bit dimmer than the third one, and then the fourth one, the fire is pretty big on the candle. So now that you have been informed on how to eliminate fire by taking away one side of the triangle, it will help you eliminate some loss and to be prepared in the future if there is a fire. Um, so how, when my question now is how do you put out a fire? The answer is you would take away either the heat, the fuel, or oxygen, or the chief itself. <laughs> Thank you for your time and have a good day.